is going on everybody this is HDX and today I'm going to do a movie review on the 2019 live action version of Aladdin Disney's latest live action remake based on the 1992 version of the same name 27 years ago this classic was released on theaters and it was a massive hit and I grew up watching this I, I was born in 92 but I watched it on VHS in 97 so without further ado let's get this review started so I'm gonna start with a little structure that's gonna start with the cast for starters, I want to say the cast did a good job in their roles. The person who played the main character of the same name in the title of the movie is played by Mena Masoud, who does voices for Watch Dogs, the video game. I think he did a good job playing the role of the character of the same name of the title of the movie. Next up, we have Jasmine, played by Naomi Scott. She is known for starting as Mandy Shannon in the science fiction drama series Terra Nova, and she also plays Kimberly the Pink Ranger in the Power Rangers live-action movie. And she does look fine, I'll tell you that. Next up, the villain Jafar, played by Moran Kazari, who is known for having roles in Ben-Hur, What Happened to Monday, and the 2017 version of The Mummy, starring by Tom Cruise, which is terrible, by the way. Last but not least, we have the genie, played by the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, a.k.a. Will Smith. Now, when I first saw the reveal of the genie for the live-action version, I was just like, what the heck was that? When I saw this, I was like, oh my god, they turned Will Smith into Tobias Funk from Arrested Development and when he's trying to join the Blue Man Group. Or like Paul Giamatti from Big Fat Liar right after swimming in a pool full of blue dye. <laughs> Now, with that being said, I feel like Will Smith did a good job bringing his Fresh Prince-esque personality to the Genie character. He did a good job at it, but I still always love Robin Williams' as a performance in the animated version. I mean, to each of its own. Also, I wanted to bring up that Alan Turdick played the voice of Iago the parrot. Iago is portrayed as the evil, mischievous, sneaky parrot. Also, Turdick also plays the role of Steve the Pirate in Dodgeball, a true underdog story. I still have love for Iago that is played by Gilbert Gottfried. That dude is a legend. On his role as the voice of Iago, he does a tremendous job, and I always love that version. The backgrounds and environmental setups are detailed, they look great, some of them are good with the CGI, others not so much. From side by side, the Sultan's Palace in Akrabar looks different in live action. The Cave of Wonders looks a little bit underwhelming compared to the animated version that looks very detailed. Also, the Sultan's Palace, when you look at it at dusk, it looks very nice. Also, the inside of the castle looks well detailed and colorful. Parts within the bazaar and the marketplace looks decent when you see like during the action scenes. And the action scenes look great during the beginning of the movie. So they look great for the most part. And last but not least, the story and the plot. The 2019 version story is, is faithful to the 1992 version, but there was a couple of changes here and there. Aladdin, a kind-hearted young street rat living in the desert kingdom of Akbar, along with his pet monkey Apu, rescues and befriends Princess Jasmine, who snuck out of the palace, growing tired of the sheltered life. Meanwhile, the Grand Visor Jafar grows tired of being quote-unquote second best, and he and his parrot Lago thus seek the magic lamp they hidden within the Cave of Wonders to become Sultan. Only one person is worthy to enter the Diamond in the Rough. So Jafar gets Aladdin, get him to the Cave of Wonders, identified as the Diamond in the Rough, send him in to get the lamp. Once he got the lamp, Abu accidentally touched the ruby. Thus angering the cave, Aladdin finds a way to escape with the flying carpet. Jafar helps them out only to trick him to get the lamp. Abu swerved Jafar by stealing back the lamp from Jafar. Okay, I'm not going to spoil the rest. You get the idea. Also, they did a great job of doing the musical numbers. It was colorful. It was whimsical. Never had a friend like me and A Whole New World are always my two favorites, hands down. The first act, it was off to a good start. The second act almost fumbled in the home stretch, but the third act was the payoff. It really made up for it. So overall, this movie is alright. The musical numbers were good, the costumes are look well detailed and fun, but at the same time, the direction, the pacing, and the CGI, it's a little bit flawed for the most part. The cast did a good job in their roles, including Will Smith, who brought his Fresh Prince-esque shtick to the genie character. The story of the live-action version is faithful to the original animated version, with a couple of changes that at least it makes sense. 
So Aladdin is a step up compared to Beauty and the Beast and Cinderella, which they had it's too serious, too dark. It had a couple of plot holes. The main character of the live action Cinderella is not interesting, and the Beauty and the Beast had fucking Emma Watson. Like seriously, so Aladdin is okay. Overall, I give the live version of Aladdin a 7.4 out of 10. It's not great, but at least it's a bit of a step up. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Give this video a thumbs up, comment, don't forget to subscribe, and click the bell notification. And I'm out.